Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to show you how to replace the battery connector on your electric pallet jack. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a beginner, this step-by-step -step guide will make the process simple and straightforward. So, let's get started. Before we begin, a quick word of caution. Always ensure your pallet jack is turned off. Remove the AC power cord from the power source and disconnect all battery connections before continuing with this tutorial. Wear appropriate protective equipment, such as insulated gloves and safety glasses, to ensure your safety throughout the process. Here's what you'll need for this job, flathead screwdriver, new battery connector that is compatible with your pallet jack model, wrenches or sockets, wire cutters, electrical tape. Once you have all the tools in hand, let's move forward with the hands-on tutorial. First, we need to remove the connector assembly. There are usually four sets of nuts and bolts holding it together. Using your wrench, carefully unscrew and set them aside. With the assembly open, you can see the terminals connected to the wires. Next, we'll remove the terminals. Use a flathead screwdriver to depress the spring steel clip that holds each terminal in place. Apply a gentle but firm pressure, and the wire should pop out of the connector housing. Repeat this process for both the positive and negative terminal. Now, take your new battery connector. Insert the terminals into the new housing. Make sure that you have identified the positive and negative terminals correctly. This can be done by checking the color coding of the wires or looking for the plus symbol embossed on the positive side of the connector. If the existing wires are in good condition, you can reuse them. However, if they show signs of wear or damage, consider replacing them with new wires of the appropriate gauge and insulation. To connect the terminals, insert the positive wire, typically red, into the positive side of the new connector, marked with a plus symbol. You should feel or hear a click sound when the terminal is fully seated. Gently tug the wire to ensure it is securely connected. Repeat this process for the negative terminal, typically black, ensuring it is connected to the negative side of the connector. If you replace the wires, use electrical tape or heat shrink tubing to insulate the connections and prevent potential short circuits. Carefully place the new connector assembly back into its original position, ensuring that the wires are not twisted, kinked, or pinched. Reinsert the nuts and bolts, and tighten them securely using the appropriate tools, following the manufacturer's torque specifications if available. Finally, do a quick safety check. Before reconnecting the battery, double-check that the positive and negative terminals are correctly connected to the corresponding sides of the connector. This step is crucial to prevent potential damage, safety hazards, or even fire risks. And that's it. You've successfully replaced your electric pallet jack battery connector. If you need any parts, check out Pallet Jackson. We have a wide range of battery connectors and other parts for all makes and models. Our connectors are designed to meet or exceed the original equipment manufacturer's specifications, ensuring reliable performance and a perfect fit. Check out the links in the description to browse our selection of battery connectors. For one-on-one -on -one customer service, call us at 832-239-5393 or email us at info at palletjackson.com. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment below or contact us at the provided numbers. See you in the next video.